Welcome back to the Compressor Guru. I did not get contacts, but we don't have a real fancy studio, and I had a glare in my glasses, and the wife, the camera wife, made me take my glasses off. So, I'm doing this blind. Anyway, friends, I spent a lot of time on the phone, and what I think is more time than I should, talking about getting a check valve sized correctly and what type it is. And what we're going to do today is we're going to go over size and types of check valves. Now check valve is basically only really two types that I could mention right here that we're going to cover. But there's different size threads. Let's, let's start. All, all of these check valves, every one of these check valves are different but they are all a pipe thread that goes into the tank. Every one of them, whether it's half or three quarter, and we have other sizes, but these represent, these are the common ones. Now, where it gets tricky is some guys go, well, the outside of the thread is about one inch. See folks, on a pipe, the inside is the measurement of the pipe and this is a one inch pipe you go how do you know that's one inch because my thumb's one inch i bowled for years and i had like an inch and a sixteen thumb hole so this is a one inch pipe you measured on the inside now this differs from copper pipe your copper pipe is measured on the outside and this is a five eighths and this is a three Sorry, Val. It's okay. This is a 5 8 OD and this is a 3 quarter OD. So your copper pipe is measured on the outside. What is OD? Outside diameter. Oh. ID, inside diameter. OD, outside diameter. I've learned something today. All right. Bud's rule number four. Mm -hmm. Never stop learning. So when you are looking at, we've diagnosed that you need a check valve. And you go, first off, some guys call and say, I don't know if I have a check valve. Well, where your pipe goes into your tank, if you've got a long brass uh, fitting, and especially if it has a port on the side, uh, you have a check valve. Most compressors have check valves. There's a few that don't. And quite frankly, they all work better with a check valve. But that being said, so this is a three-quarter uh, check valve. This is the side that goes into the tank. And if you notice, my thumb <laughs> is one inch, and if the threads are about one inch. But remember, we measure pipe size by the ID, the inside diameter. So this would go into a three-quarter hole in the tank. Let's go to where we really get into the weeds, and this isn't bad weeds. We really only have about four types that we're going to cover right here. This here is a female three-quarter pipe thread, and I should have found a three-quarter uh, pipe, and I'd show you. It simply screws into here. So if you call me and say, I need a three-quarter by three-quarter check valve, I'm going to send this to you. Uh, I'm going to put check. I'm going to put a bunch of check valves up on our web page too, thecompressorguru.com. Don't get excited if it's not there by mid-February because that's about when this will this will air. So anyway, and this one actually has two ports. So you may go, what are the ports for? The port is uh, for an unloader line, and you might run a. Uh, copper tube from here over to your pressure switch or to the centrifugal unloader on the compressor and that way when the machine shuts down the check valve actually stops the air from going back up to the compressor and the unloader unloads everything from the compressor and the tube or after core also out of the unloader assembly and when the compressor restarts it has time to build some pressure before it starts hitting the tank pressure. 
that being said, uh, this is a three quarter by three quarter pipe thread check valve. Now you go, how many other types are there? Good question. Since I don't, oh, this is a half by half. Now, check valve. This is pipe thread, half by half. And... Let me see in the end of it. It's a female. It's a female. Anyway, <laughs> so, you may go, well, I got a half inch pipe going into a three quarter inch check valve. We have those. So there's a multiple... Uh, there's multiple different sizes available. You, we can have a three-quarter check valve with a half-inch uh, pipe thread going into it. And we've got some different combinations, but it's never a one-inch going into a three-quarter. It's always the size or smaller going in. That being said, that's one type. That's your pipe-to-pipe. -pipe. This you will normally see on Ingersoll Rand. And we have two of them here for examples. This is your three quarter and this is your half inch. And Ingersoll likes these internally flared check valves. Now I dug this out of the good used parts pile. And this isn't the right size for either of these. But this is a uh, nut for an internally flared check valve. And it's just, this is very much like the brake lines on your car, the steel brake lines. And for that matter, in a recent episode, we used a steel brake line on an Ingersoll to replace a line that we didn't have a good used one for. So, the, this side of the check valves are the same. They're a pipe thread, half inch or three quarter. But this side is an internally flared. Now, with the Ingersolls, this is an internally flared line also, but it goes over to your pressure switch, which unloads the compressor. So, that camera wife, do you got a real good shot of the inside of that? I think I do. Okay, let's show you the other, what well, the, the other side of this one looks like. This, and then it's an eighth inch female pipe thread. And what goes in there is a safety valve. And the safety valve on the Ingersolls are usually a 325, and that's not tank protection, it's actually protection on your uh, copper tube. That all being said, this is another type. So you have your internally flared. Dominoes. We have another one. This is your compression. On the side it goes in the tank, it's still a pipe thread. And this is three quarter by three quarter. It might fit this. Nope, that's wrong one. Uh, so this is a compression type fitting for this type of ferrule. And if this was sized correctly, I don't have that line here. But this is a compression fitting. So if you have this type of line going into your check valve, measure the OD of the line. That's the outside diameter. Correct, Val. And uh, measure your pipe thread, and we can order this for you. And it's got two eighth inch ports on it, either for a safety valve or a uh, to go to your unloader. Or you, if you don't have either of those, you can put a pipe plug in both of those, simple little eighth inch pipe plugs. So that's uh, three types. And you have your final uh, check valve, and it's still a check valve, it's still three quarter that goes into the tank, or a half inch that goes into the tank. But this one is a flared fitting, and my book calls them. Uh, a JIS fitting, but it's basically a flare. It's an external flare. The nut goes over these threads, and it's a very simple little flare. And if that was an external nut, it'd go down there and just slip right on. And we have these in different sizes, of course. When you call me and say, but I need a three-quarter by three-quarter, we don't have to worry about 
what if you're replacing a three quarter by three quarter it's very simple but the other thing we look at is we want to make sure the check valve is big enough for the application so we wouldn't put a half inch check valve to install on a 30 horse compressor because this won't let enough volume go through last thing about check valves and I don't even stock these I'm not sure if I have a good source I know you can get them through Granger but this is really only for a single stage compressor and it's really for your cheap compressors your uh, the, the, the stuff you get at the big box stores but it uh, is a self unloading check valve or a little tiny pinhole on this side and when the air's going through it there's a spool in here and when the compressor stops running the check valve closes like it should and this is ported so the air that's in the tube bleeds off uh, these have a terrible failure rate there's not many of them out there not many people use them but your the junk you buy at the big box stores will occasionally have this I strongly recommend going to a pressure switch with an unloader and going to a valve like this and uh, if you call me for one, I'm probably going to order it out of Granger and drop ship it to you. And Granger is very expensive. So, that being said, there's two reasons check valves fail. They stick open. We take, and if you can see that moving, I'm sure the camera wave has an excellent shot of that. There's a little tiny spring under this neoprene flapper. And either the spring breaks or there develops a wear spot in the neoprene uh, disc and it will leak back and when this happens your check valve uh, will leak back to the compressor it will either be hard starting or the other thing that will happen is your unloader assembly will continue to leak when the machine is turned off and I can't tell you how many times I've been out on a service call and the guy calls and says, hey, my pressure switch is leaking. Is it leaking all the time or just when it shut off? Well, I only hear it when it shut off. So I make sure I take a check valve with me because chances are it's not the pressure switch. The other way these fail isn't for sticking open but sticking closed. And this usually happens with compressors that use some oil and this will get gummed up and it won't let the air pass into the tank and then you'll build excessive pressure on your discharge tube and that's why some companies put uh, safety valves on one of the ports and if that starts popping it's probably not a bad safety valve it's probably a check valve that has gummed up for oil usage and that's basically the two reasons check valves fail but the primary reason for this video once again is to show you types and sizing on check valves we'll have uh, all we'll have all the stuff we normally stock on our web page and uh, the weight of these is very minimal so that all being said thank you I appreciate the camera wife coming in on her busy schedule and shooting this. We're, we've got three or four videos to shoot in the next two days. And she has a meeting, so we're going to let her go. And This is the Compressor Guru. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, hit like, subscribe, all those internet kind of things. And God bless you and have a great day. Thank you for watching this episode of The Compressor Guru. Please hit like and subscribe and use the notify bell so you will know when the next new episode is released from The Compressor Guru. God bless you and have a great day.